Hello, Marcus Lim here, and in this video, I'll be taking you through some of the features of the Social Marketing Suite application, which allows you to build fan pages that look something like this. Uh, so this is an example of a video sales page with a headline, a subheadline, a video, followed by a call to action button, and then a like place for you to put Facebook comments, and. I'll show you how easily I managed to get this sort of page up and running. So here's the back end of the social marketing suite. And if I click on edit, so this is my first campaign, uh, which if I click on edit, it will allow me to come in and um, edit all of the elements of the page. So you can see in this case it's really just a simple matter of dragging and dropping some of these blocks to construct the page so header video image banner so let's say for whatever reason I want to have the image come before the video I just have to drag them uh, in order to rearrange the blocks uh, and I can then click save and then if I then come back to my fan page um, and refresh it what you should see is that the um, image is now before the video now this doesn't quite make sense right in this case uh, we really want to have the video first but this is just um, an example to show you how easy it is um, to change the elements on the page. And you can have all these different elements as well. Uh, you can add text, raw HTML, you can add spacing between the blocks, footer, and so on. And you can also do all these things like adding a light gateway, changing the background image and stuff. Um, you know, you can preview the page before you publish it um, just to see what it's like so in this case this is a preview of what the final page will look like so let me head back and let me also show you right all the um, different sorts of templates that you can have so I'll change templates um, and then you will be able to see um, that social marketing suite actually comes with um, many many different templates that you can use um, and the one that I show you is just one of many many templates which I believe is this one over here but as you can see there's all these templates uh, I think if you get the uh, basic version of the application software uh, you get 17 basic templates but then there's all um, uh, all these other different templates that you can use but even with the basic templates um, there's a lot here that you can immediately um, choose and then use it either um, as it is or use it as a starting point to create your own and you can even start from scratch so you know let me show you a preview of some of these other templates so this is one where you can use to sell um, your t-shirts um, let me also click on say this one really good for Christmas items to sell um, let's see what else is there um, sales page templates let's see um, so this one is another t-shirt template let me head on to the shopping cart templates and see what's available um, this one actually lets you promote your iPhone or Android apps uh, let's see webinar templates um, 
right so this is actually the one that I used right um, but there's all these other ones um, so you can see that there's a lot of templates that you can just pick and choose um, and use them um, to for example you can use these ones to get opt-ins uh, so these are opt-in templates and um, you can easily hook them up with your favorite autoresponder and you can and the subscribers will also come into um, this software applications database as well you click on my subscribers uh, but let me now show you a very cool feature if you were to get the white label version of the software you can actually um, you can actually change or white label the um, branding so that clients will not be able to tell uh, what software this really is right so for example let's say you've got a client um, and I'll just put in some email address let me put in, in any password um, and for the logo so this is what I'm talking about you can use any logo that you want so preferably you know your own company um, logo so let me choose this one and let me click submit successfully inserted it says okay so if I come back to my dashboard and you can see I can add clients to my campaign right so if I do that, I can say, all right, list of clients, Fred, let's give him access to this, this particular campaign, give access. And this is the link that I'll be giving them. Okay, and I'll show you what it looks like. So there's no logo of any kind here. Um, so the client has no idea that this is social marketing suite and when he logs in this is what he sees um, the logo which is in this case Ali G marketing that I uploaded so to the client it looks like this is actually um, your software application with your own logo um, and this is the only campaign that he has access to because it's the one that I um, gave access to and it's active and he can edit and he can do all of this sort of stuff that I've showed you right so the client has access to all these tools but obviously limited uh, to only his campaign so this is pretty powerful right you can use it for yourself to do your own Facebook uh, fan pages like this one um, or you can do it for clients and charge them say a monthly fee or something like that um, and th there's tools that you can use to do that very very um, effectively for example let me show you uh, clients right you can if you were to charge them say a monthly fee you can easily um, change the status from active to to you know um, deactivated um, so so that in this way you can easily manage them on a monthly basis right uh, so I think that's pretty much what I have to show you in this video um, yep it is pretty powerful uh, very drag and drop process to create your fan pages um, and also very powerful software if you were to use this as a service 
for your clients as well. So thanks for watching this video and I'll talk to you shortly.